Can you guess what is behind? Today, I am experimenting with stable diffusion by giving the famous YouTube play button a makeover with different materials. Stay tuned to see how each material gives this well-known symbol of online success its own special touch. I am using Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111 installed on Windows. For the model, I use Juggernaut XL version 7. The sampling method is DPM++ 3M SDE Keras with 30 sampling steps, then 24 pixel size, and 5 for CFG scale. Now comes the important part, the control net extension. You need this extension and model to get the same results. Check my other videos to learn how to install and use it. Make sure you check enable and pixel perfect. For the control type, I use Canny. The preprocessor is also Canny and the model is Koya Control Lite XL Canny. Now I will upload an image of the YouTube logo, which is just a black logo on a white background. Uh, it can be any other simple logo. Uh, just make sure the ratio is the same as your generation. In my case, it's, it's square. Um, I created a prompt for the silver button and added some weight to certain words to achieve what I want using round parentheses. The classic symbol for 100K subscribers is generated. Moving on to gold, the coveted uh, YouTube gold play button. It's not just an award, it's a dream for many creators. Watch how Stable Diffusion brings this golden treasure to life, symbolizing the million subscriber milestone. I will use the seed 777 because it has given me some nice results and is easy to remember. Next, we elevate to diamond. This is the big league, folks. The 10 million subscriber mark. Observe the diamond button's luxurious and untouchable sparkle. It's like holding a piece of YouTube history. Now let's get exclusive with Ruby. This custom YouTube button is rare, a true collector's item only a few will ever see. Let's switch gears to more earthly metals, like copper. And for a twist, what if the button was made of rusty metal? Let's shift to fragile elegance with glass. Imagine a YouTube button as delicate and transparent as glass a symbol of fragility and beauty. For a modern vibe, here's the red neon button. Simple, yet it stands out with its bright electric feel. Ever thought of a button as sturdy as concrete? Here's one for the ages. Solid, unyielding. A testament to durability in the YouTube journey. Time for a playful twist with pink feminine glossy plastic. Resin with its glowing allure adds an enchanting touch. Now, let's play with elements. What if our button was made of water? Fluid, ever-changing, it represents the dynamic world of online content. From water to ice, let's freeze our button. Or let's heat things up with fire. A play button ablaze, representing the passion and energy of content creators. And lava, molten and powerful. It's a button that seems to hold the very essence of creation within it. Here's a splash of fun. A play button in a burst of colors. It's like a celebration of diversity and creativity on YouTube. And one made from clouds, dreamy and soft. It's like a button straight out of a fantasy. Look at this luminous liquid button glowing in neon blue and purple. It's like capturing bioluminescence in the palm of your hand. Now what if our button was an actual object? Here's a modern briefcase version, sleek and professional or a vintage TV. Nostalgic, yet still cool. It reminds us of where entertainment started and how far it's come. For food lovers, a delicious twist. A play button as a slice of cake. Who wouldn't want a piece of this sweet success? An elixir for eternal YouTube, life, magical and mystical. It's like capturing the essence of everlasting digital fame. Let's go sci-fi with a mechanical robotic button. It's a fusion of technology and imagination, just like YouTube itself. And finally, let's wrap up with a silk fabric covered YouTube logo. It's a soft, elegant end to our creative journey. That's a wrap on our tour of YouTube play buttons through the lens of stable diffusion. I hope you found this as fascinating as I did. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more creative explorations. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.